In one of my last videos I made this beat. In that video I was reviewing Spot On, a new free vocal tuning plugin. In this video however we will talk about a different plugin. You can already see it across my track list, it is called Myth by Dawson. I'm actually in the official beta team of Dawson in general and that's already the case since the first plugin Abyss. You might be wondering why am I not making videos about Pete's plugins more often. The reason is that I think there are a lot of YouTubers out there who are better at this. Not because they are better at using the synthesizer in every possible way, they are better at showing off synthesizers like that. Like if you watched a Databroth stream for example, you would see him using every feature in here. You would see the modulation system being used extensively and not just the oscillator effect chain but also the second oscillator in general and its effect chain, filter section and both FX slots. You would see everything being used and the macro and wild modulation and stuff, maybe even some velocity sensitive inputs played with a real master keyboard and not like I often do that I just type in the chords and make a pad sound with it. Because this sound, it sounds useful, but it is just this. You know, that's the reason why I usually don't make videos about plugins like Myth. It's not that I don't use them, I love them, but I'm just not the best person to ask to make a video about it where you learn a lot. But the next sound that I have in here made with Myth As you can see I used the ARP tab, which is basically not just ARPs but all kinds of MIDI effects that are being applied before the MIDI is sent to the oscillators. So I transposed the MIDI a little bit and then I attached an arpeggiator to it and then the rest of the patch comes. A modal filter by the way, very useful. In synthesizers like Serum and Vital you have to drag the note modulator to some filter cutoff to make something key tracked. Well not always, I think Vital has a bunch of key track knobs as well, that's pretty cool. But the modal filter here is key track by default, you don't have to do anything to activate the key tracking. It is just doing that all the time without even asking, which I find really cool. That's a nice workflow. Especially in the context of this engine, I should mention this is an FM synthesizer. Even though the parameters are all really cryptic, you cannot really know what you're doing. Well, you can hear some of them. I think this one is a frequency shifter. And well, but most of them are kind of complicated to guess what they are. I can show you how they feel a little bit later maybe. Yeah, and then you have these FM sounds and you run them through the modal filter. That's just a good combination of things because FM synthesizers create a lot of intense high-end with a unique texture. And then the modal filter takes out some of this uniqueness again and you can filter only the best part of it by tweaking these parameters. It's a very nice workflow, I like that. Then we have another instance of Myth here which is playing falling notes and it sounds like this. So you can see some things moving on this weird flower thing. This is actually... Well, what is it? I try to describe it, okay? You can drag a sample on one of the oscillators, for, for example this Rimba sample that it will resynthesize whatever that is. Is it some neural network thing or whatever? It interprets sample as something that can be this oscillator flower thing. And that's some sort of FM synthesizer thing. And then you can move to the face of that just like you would with a wavetable synthesizer and find a sound that you like.
Okay. While I'm at it, I can show you the other cryptic parameters as well. Yeah, that caught me off guard. I just wanted to tell you about something and then suddenly I was in the flow again. So as you can see, it is a cool synthesizer. It's just that I'm not throwing modulators around like crazy. So you won't learn about all of the features just by looking at the way I use this plugin. There is this FX section where I used all of the three available reverbs. There are three reverbs, they sound very different. Yeah, one thing that is kind of cool about this plugin, especially its effect chain, is that a lot of these effects are very weird. Like there is one that is called Glurp and it has a Glurp parameter and as you can see in the tooltips it glurpedizes things and if you look at the Glurp parameter you see the amount of glopidity, of course. And you can also spill. I can tell you all of these modules are really cool. They really deserve these exotic parameter names. Let's see how good this beat transitions into the chorus. That's cool. I like that. So Myth. I think you should really check out this synthesizer. It is a lot of fun. It is not a good synthesizer for making videos. At least not for me. Because I feel like it, it makes me kind of look stupid. I don't know enough about how it works. I can't say intelligent things about it. I think that's why I don't like it so much for videos but I can use it and I think it is a lot of fun so it kinda deserves this video even though I can't say anything incredibly smart about it <laughs> 